Let's break down, let's eat, a simple phrase with big meanings. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we make English learning easy and fun. Today, we're going to dive into a very common phrase you might hear every day, let's eat. It sounds simple, right? But there's more to this phrase than meets the eye. So, let's explore it together. Firstly, let's break down the word, let's. This is a contraction of, let us, which is a way of suggesting an action that includes the speaker and the listener. It's a friendly, casual way to suggest doing something together. This form is very common in spoken English and is used in many different contexts, not just for eating. Now, let's look at the word, eat. At its core, it simply means to consume food. But in English, it can imply different things based on the context. It could mean having a meal like lunch or dinner, or it could be an invitation to start eating, especially if the food is already prepared. In different cultures, let's eat can have slightly different meanings. In some cases, it's a polite way to start a meal, almost like saying, bon appetit. In other contexts, it could be a way to invite someone to join you for a meal, implying hospitality and friendliness. There are variations of this phrase, too. For instance, let's go eat, suggests leaving the current location to eat somewhere else. Let's eat out, specifically means to have a meal at a restaurant. These small changes can alter the meaning, showing the flexibility of the English language. Let's see some practical examples. 1. Family dinner. When a family is gathered around the table, and the food is ready, someone might say, let's eat, to indicate that it's time to start the meal. 2. Friends planning a meal. If friends are discussing plans and someone suggests a meal, they might say, let's eat at the new Italian place tonight. 3. At a buffet. When everyone is ready to serve themselves, someone might say, let's eat, as an invitation to begin. Let's eat is a simple, yet rich phrase in the English language. It's more than just about eating. It's about companionship, sharing, and enjoying a meal together. We hope this video has given you a better understanding of this common phrase and how it's used in everyday English. Don't forget to practice using it in different contexts. Happy learning! And as always, let's keep making English fun!